Hello everyone and welcome to the ship tour. We are currently on p and Iona. Do you want to go see the ship? Come on. So starting up on deck 19 up on Iona, this is the front, the front of the ship as well, we're up on the sun deck. As it states, there's literally just a place to sunbathe with beautiful views of the ship. Let's get going that way. So we have made it to deck 18, which is a lovely beach curve pool. Now a handy thing to do on P&O, the thing we use for our ship tour, we got our map. Because we haven't got a clue where we're going and this ship is so winding up and down like right now. We just put down the whole of deck 19. We have to come down to deck 18, deck 17 to go back up to deck 19 at the back. But we'll show that in a bit. At the very, very front of deck 18 is actually the retreat. It's an extra paid area for adults only. We can just chill out and relax. But like I say, we need to pay, so we can't get into it. So we're still on deck 18, we're now at the midship aft. Here we've got the lovely sun deck with a chest set. Down this way, so let's want to see. Go and have a look. Also on this deck you have the running track, which watch we are currently walking along now. And as we come around this bend, we're gonna be meeting the splash zone. There's actually nothing on the other side, it's literally just a jogging track. It's quite a bit of areas just to sit out in, have a bit of sunbathe. They have the splash zone, splash pad. We've also got, there's loads of these all over the place, the used towels and fresh towels. You don't have to go to anyone, you just grab them there. And then right at the back, we have the panorama pool and bar. For lovely views out across the back of the ship. And this is where you can access the sports area. So we've now made it up to the aft of deck 19. Yes, I know, we had deck 18 in the middle, but that's the only way to do it. You've got to go from the front of deck 19 down to deck 18, back up to deck 19, and we're in the sports area. So you've got the ball area, as we call it. Where you've got your basketball, football, and then over the back, you have golf. Ooh, shooting range back at me. You have, just driving grab range. a club, dri no, driving range, that's the word. You grab a club and whack your balls. So now on deck 17 at Ford, and we are at the Crow's Nest. Great place to hang out with a cocktail in the evening, or even just today, see all the panoramic windows. And nice lovely seats here. Go have a look. Just outside the crow's nest you have the Epicurean, which is the posh place. So you have to pre-book, and with all our posh restaurants, pre-booking it as soon as you get on board, because they sell out fast. All our specialty restaurants on here, we tried to get into Sindhu, 
couldn't, it sells out far too fast. Make sure you pre-book. Up here, just to note as well, come this way, mate. We've got this little staircase here. This goes up to deck 18. This ship is very confusing, which is why I have the map. Um, it goes up and down, up and down. You have to go down to go up and up to go down and left and right in this. These, little secret staircase up to Beach Camera Pool. Good to know. So we're now in the middle on deck 17, and up here is the top of the Sky Dome. This is where you have nightly entertainment as well. Amazing acrobats all over the pool. There's a lovely place to come and have a drink and chill as well. So right here we have the entrance to the kids' clubs. You have the reef. This entrance to splashers, surfers, scubas, and H2O. So we're outside on deck 17, this is a sun terrace. So to note on all, most of the outside decks here, they have little random hot tubs just dotted around everywhere. This sun terrace, I think, goes all the way to the back of the ship. So why don't you have a wander, see what you can find. We have found the kind of table tennis and shuffly board area. What looks at though, to get to table tennis you've got to go to the reef, which I'm gonna guess they're gonna give you the paddles and the balls and let you into it. And this is only for reef people, we actually don't know. And this way, you've got all your board games, you've got your shuffleboard and whatever these circly things are on the floor here. table tennis. We're still on deck 17 and this is the outside area for the surfers, which again is part of the reef, this is kids club. It seems to only be outside areas for scubas and for surfers, everything else is inside. And then we've got the rest of deck 17. Come on, follow, keep up, keep up. So we've made it down to deck 16. We are actually starting in the middle of the ship because at the front of the ship is just cabins. Here we have again the Sky Dome, where your Sky Dome pool, your shows are. There's those other things to see on this level, so I'm going to let you have a wonder. So up in the Sky Dome you've got a couple of bars and you've also got this lovely little place over in the corner here, which is Taste 360. It's where you can get some grab and go meals. You have, um, there's a speciality one of the local area every time, but it's burgers and pizzas, general street food. It's a nice little place, that's where you get chips. If you want chips, go there and then take it into the restaurant. Uh, then over here is the Laguna Bar and Sundays area. Have some nice Sundays over there. So from the Sky Dome there is an entrance to the Horizons restaurant, you can get to the beach house from here as well. It's, it's not too bad to say, this is where I normally duck out and get some food, but it says the beach house right there. So you go in the beach house end and it goes down at two Horizons. It's all exactly the same, I think the beach house is the chef's table and specialty table on some days. 
But it's a nice place just to come and eat. There's loads of little nooks and crannies. We found for two people these little hideaways on the side are perfect. So we've made it out to the infinity pool bar and it's such a beautiful view here. This area kind of does link with the two pools above it. You have a beautiful view from the top all the way down to the bottom, but this by far is the most beautiful spot on the back of the ship. Have a look. So we made it down to deck eight, we're starting in the middle-ish again. Here is where the Grand Atrium is, we're at the top of the Grand Atrium, and here you can find the Keelan Cow. So carry on down the aft of the ship, you have the shop here with sweets and other overpriced things in. <laughs> You've got Ripple's Ice Cream Bar. Do amazing ice cream sundaes in there. And then heading on down, we're going very quick look. We're at Sindhu already. Like we said earlier on, we couldn't get into Sindhu. We'd love to. The only time we stepped foot in here was when we took our lunch from the Keys into here because you can use this as a seating area. And then we're heading on through here and we end up in the Keys where you have Hook Like and Vinegar, Fusion and Broadway. They do the same meals for lunch and dinner every single day and they can get breakfast in here as well which Hook, Line and Vinegar have a set things, but the Broadway Diner has like a buffet, you can pick what you want. So we can get little desserts and drinks, that'll be complimentary. And then down the end here is the Olive Grove, which again is another complimentary restaurant. It does have some upcharges on there, but that's literally for chips and something else which I can't remember now. But it was, we, we highly recommend the Olive Grove. We loved it in there. Loads of different places to eat. Then heading on back, you have uh, the clubhouse. Very busy bar in the evenings, this one. Make sure you get there early to get a seat. But it's a great place in the evening to just sit and watch a band or have a bit of a boogie. Going out from the clubhouse, you also have an access to the Sunset Bar. We didn't really use this bar, like we said in another video, it was always closed when we were here, but it does have two whirlpools on the other end, and you get to it from the wraparound promenade. So wrapping itself around the whole of the decade as well is the promenade deck. A little bit controversial on this deck, you have the conservatory suites which we'll show you, show you in a minute, which sit right on the edge of this promenade deck. But it's a nice area just to have a little wander around. There's a whole loop. loop. I think it's only three quarters of the ship. We can't get right to the front, but we have a nice little loop. We'll show you half of it, come on.
Also dotted around this deck, you have these infinity hot tubs, I guess they're called. Um, whirlpools. And then right next to them, as you can see, is the conservatory balconies. I, I would hate these because you couldn't. I would feel like I couldn't sit out there. But people that like to talk to people, it's going to be great for you. But it's the fact you literally walk past them and you can see right inside, really. And then right up the front of the ship, this is the staff only area. This is their little pool. And they've got a couple of whirlpools up here because I know a few people ask, what is it? We're then going to make our way down from the Keeling Cow to the next layer of the Grand Atrium down these lovely stairs. We've made it down onto deck seven, we're at the front of the ship again. This is the top entrance to Headliners Theatre. Beautiful place, we'll talk about that on the next deck below. But on this deck now is the Casino and Brody's Bar. Let's go check it out. So this is a typical, say, European cruise ship where it has a very, very small casino. We only find the American cruise lines and the Caribbean ones have a massive cruise casinos. But that's it literally for the casino and we're at Brody's. We did have a good few times in Brody's, so we find your quizzes and general hangouts. We do a few shows, a little tiny little stage there. We tried to play it, make the jukebox work. It didn't work. Don't know what it was doing. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little bar around here. So back in the middle on the atrium and on this level we have the glass house. It is another specialty restaurant which you need to pre-book beforehand. But there's loads more to see on this floor, so why don't you go and have a look. Moving down from the grand atrium you have guest services. Let's literally treat it for guest services. One little tiny queue, very small. Then we're heading down to the photo hub to get all your pictures that you have through this day. And then you're on to duty free. This is one bit I don't like. It's all, it's all just end of corridors. It's really weird. Uh, but you've got your duty free perfumes and aftershaves there. Then you move on round. And then we have. That was the alcohol. That is future cruise and your short excursions. More little shops here. And some of the high-end shops down the side we're going as well. These two areas are called the Avenue... Oh no, they're both called the Avenue Shopping. I'm reading a map, by the way, at the exact same time. Oh, I like that staircase. That was gorgeous, that staircase. I had to show that. So now we come to deck six. Uh, Johnny did this while I was asleep one morning because we ran out of battery on the last one. So we're starting in the middle of the ship. We're now making our way to the back. Oh, that's the wine distillery. The gin distillery, sorry, not wine. All the way down there. We're going to head our way backwards to the Ocean Studios, which is a cinema on board. You've got four screens. They're really nice screens, actually. They're really, they're, it's like a proper little theatre in there. Obviously, it is, but... Comfy seats, good little screen in. So if you want to watch a good old cinema on board, come on down to the Ocean Studios. Heading out of there again is Anderson's. You've got the library area and the bar. We didn't use these, but they were again, they were very, very popular. There's board games and books all on the side of the library here. 
look at there's lo absolutely loads there's actually a thing in the program if you haven't borrowed any books at the end of your cruise please bring them back but then head backwards even more to the aqua and the opal restaurant we didn't go into aqua we went into opal on the first night i don't think we did aqua at all Again, they're one of your main dining rooms. Just choose which one you go to every night. We ended up going to the same one for most of our stay, apart from the first few nights. But they're nice little restaurants. There's nothing bad to be said about them. And then heading out to the very, very back of the ship, down in this corridor is the Pearl Restaurant. This is the downstairs, because upstairs is the Coral. But it is closed right now. Grand atrium with these beautiful staircases. It is lovely here, I must say. This is where some like on the nice nice couple of people now. Formal nice is just in front of this. We spent a few nights in the Emerald Bar, which is just behind us there. And then straight ahead is the Vistas coffee shop. This is where you get your costas. It's got a lot of a few little nice little treats in each of these here as well. nice to sit here on an evening. Um, piano players go in, there's some nice cocktails here. There's a nice place in between meals maybe. Meals, like a <laughs> sit there and drink all day, why not? Right, heading down this corridor, we've got some artwork on here. That was one of our favourite pieces, that one. And then just, this is all the art gallery, all down this corridor. But just here, we have the Limelight Club. We saw Gareth Gates, but there's all sorts of different people. From the Voix. Gareth Gates, Ray Quinn, all sorts of people come and sing in the Limelight Club. It is an extra charge, but it is a dinner theatre show. I'll try to think of the word then. And there's a menu there. Let's go inside and have a little look. heading back outside I said that's all the art gallery out here and this is a little desk where you can talk to the people about buying the art and then right down the end here is the Oasis Spa you've got the salon in there as well to get your hair cut uh, and then the actual main spa is downstairs with your thermal suite and gym and then right at the end is the Headliners Theatre Another place we had to show you is the Laundrette. Even though we didn't use it, it is there. There's quite a few of them. They're from decks 9 to 16, so it's all the main passenger room decks. As you can see, there's loads of tumble dryers, washing machines, a couple of irons. These are free to use as well. They don't charge you. We didn't use them as we are only on a seven day, so we had enough clothes. But if we want a longer one, we might take them to maybe use for our swimwear. You never know. But they are there, free to use. That's it from us from another ship tour. If you have liked this video, make sure you hit the like button down the bottom and also the subscribe button. Keep you up to date with everything we are doing on the channel. We'll see you again soon. We've got a lot of videos planned. You never know, we might see you in the future. But from us, safe travels and thank you for being a friend.